Hey guys, welcome to Solve My Math Homework. You know what we are and you know what we do. We solve the math problems our subscribers send in. So the one that comes in today is an indefinite integral from Calc 1 and it looks really ugly. So up until now you've seen if there's an e to the x in your integral, you're probably gonna use parts, right? And then we let something be u and we let something be dv and the thing that we label u is usually the thing that we wish we were dealing with its derivative, right? Well guess what? You're not going to ever, when you use parts, let e to the x be u. But this is a little different. When you see an integral, and it's got e to the x, but it's anytime e is not to just the x, okay? If there's something more up there, you are likely going to be using, oh, and I need a new marker, u substitution. And you are going to let this ugliness be u substitution. And here's why. Remember our rule for integrating e to the x? e to the x is its own integral. That's why when we do parts, we never let u be the e to the x, because if you don't like e to the x, you're really not going to like its integral. They're the same. So the rule here then would state that e to the u du would simply be what? e to the u plus c. It doesn't change if I change the variable. So when you see an integral and you've got an e to the ugliness, you're going to let that ugliness be u, and you're going to use u substitution, not parts. Okay, and there's going to be a little rewriting involved here. Anytime you see this 5 next to something, that's just there to just be one more ugly thing. This is a constant that's being multiplied. You can always take it out. I take it out before I deal with any of this. So I'm going to just pretend that was never there, take it out, deal with it later. Okay, so when you use u substitution, you really want to see, will u substitution work? If I let u be the ugliness in the exponent, like Jackie just said to do, then I need to know what's du. So du would be what? It would be the derivative of this, 4x dx, of course. Okay, so let's see what I have. In my problem, I have a dx and I have an x. I don't have a 4. That doesn't mean we can't use u substitution. That just means we have to isolate this x dx. And we can do that by dividing by 4, multiplying by 1 fourth. So we're going to say 1 fourth du equals x dx. So now I have accounted for everything in this problem. I have an x dx. I'm going to say e to the u. And I'm going to be able to integrate this super easily. All right, so let's do this. Let's let e be what I or u be what I said it would be. So we have this five, right? And let's uh, let's move this up a little bit. We have five times the integral of e to the u, and now it's not du. It's technically one fourth du. So let's fix that up by moving that out. So five times one fourth is just five fourths, right? Let's not let the elementary math get us down. E to the u du. Okay, so now it looks just like our rule, right? Here's our rule if you forgot. e to the u, so this, I know the integral of this. The integral of this is just e to the u plus c because e to the x, e to the u, e to the anything is its own integral. So let's integrate. And I think I can go this way. Um, yeah. So 5 fourths times, now we're going to integrate this, e to the u plus c or k or whatever your teacher has you do. Now, was there a u in the problem when we started? Nope, there was an x, which means we can't leave it like this. So we're just going to sub back in. So what is our u again? Our u is 2x squared. Remember, it was the ugliness. So this is going to be 5 fourths e to the 2x squared plus c. You are done, okay? So I don't get confused. If you saw something... Um, where it was just an e to the x. Yeah, you don't want to use this for e to the x because it's its own integral. But if you're dealing with an integral and there's something other than x up in that exponent of e, try u substitution and let u be what's up there in that exponent. All right, I hope this helped. Pop some questions into the comments section. And remember, subscribe to our channel because we only solve the problems our subscribers send in.